Hey, this is Joe. Thanks for coming back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a portable spray shelter. I picked up a Wagner spray shelter from Amazon. I'll put the links in the description. There's three different sizes. There's a small, medium, and large. This is the small. We're going to go ahead and set that up. Uh, I also have a air conditioner heating uh, filter. And I have two fans. I have a small fume extractor and I have a larger fan. I'm hoping we can uh, get enough uh, volume out of the small fume extractor. But we're going to do a couple tests here, see which fan works the best. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the spray shelter off camera. I don't want to fumble around with this thing and bore you folks. So we'll get that set up and then we're going to try uh, two different fans to see what kind of... Uh, a volume of extraction we get on the airflow. Um, I have a folding table that I ordered from Walmart that uh, I can fold up and put in my garage and then when I want to uh, spray I can bring it outside, set it up on the table and set everything up and spray and then when I'm done I can fold it all back up and put it in the garage. So I don't have that table yet so I'm just going to use a small patio table here. Let's get this set up and see how it works. We put some paper towels down. I have a little rotating tabletop here. And I have a 14 by 20 by 1 inch filter in the back. Nice, it has uh, built in straps for that. Let me show you around the back side and see how we mounted the fan. Temporarily, I've put a bucket here and I mounted the fan and if the uh, small uh, fume extractor works, then I'll build a little custom wooden box to set it on top of. But for the time being, for testing purposes, we'll do it this way. If this fan is not strong enough, then we can go ahead and take a small piece of wood and pit the, put the big box fan on top. But we're going to go do some uh, testing now and see if the fume extractor is going to be strong enough to suck the spray fumes out the back of the... Uh, the uh, spray uh, shelter here. We have the fan going. Now I'm going to do a little spraying. I'm going to see what kind of an airflow we get uh, toward the back of the filter. Okay, seems to be removing the fumes pretty well. What I may do to do a test is to put the big box fan up there and see what the difference is. So we'll get that set up and we'll give it a shot. We have the big box fan now mounted behind the, uh, the spray area here and I have it on low so let's go ahead and do a little spraying on low and we'll see what kind of fume extraction we get. Oh, the spray um, evacuation or flow with the bigger filter is really nice. As you spray it, it just you can see the overspray just being routed out through the filter. So it's uh, I think the larger box filter is definitely the way to go. It's uh, working really really nice and it, removing all the overspray. So I think we're going to stick with the. Uh, the box filter here on low. It work, it's working really nicely. I've done several coats now on this uh, tail light assembly with clear and I really like the Wagner spray shelter. Um, 
it's uh, I, I'm still having the fan run while this part is uh, curing between coats uh, the box fan is working really nice on low I like the idea that it has the straps back here for your filter there's even straps on the on the, the back side as well uh, it's a little breezy today and uh, with the uh, the little rotating table here it's providing enough weight to hold the uh, spray shield or the spray shelter down without being blown around so uh, for thirty dollars this is a really nice deal uh, the uh, filter was about 13 and uh, the box fan I had lying around I'll put some links in the description of uh, to all of the items uh, but uh, I really like this it's working really well so hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time